All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the grand final here of the Box Cup. A competition that is certainly not to be underestimated, as we see, it turns out that we have, like, a really sick final. We have a sick final. We have Marius89, the German powerhouse, the Regu Meister, the Safe Meister, the most experienced player in Trickmania, the longest active player here in this game, being one of the best. I just have to say that, but enough to really praise him. Good luck to the German player, the only German player in this competition. Or, like, in this, um, um, a sort of... Um, yeah, <laughs> in this grand final. Then we also have Rin, TM Rin, a player that I haven't really seen in this competition too much. Aside, playing for Team ATX. Then there is uh, Tommy. Happy birthday to Tommy, of course, because today is his birthday. And none other than Dionysos. So a very high tier match here coming up to your eyes. We're gonna start with Serie 880. I'm not sure how to pronounce 880 in uh, in um, French. But no train Demi 1 will be mapped too. Then we have um, Yakuza. Okay, no, we have one more map after that. And before that. So we're gonna check that. Uh, Baby Park, no train Demi 1 or Demi 1, Yakuza, Montclair, and so on. And we have a prize pool here in this competition of 100 euro and a beautiful bonnet. So I'm gonna show that to you here. As you can see, the prize pool is here. 70 for first, 20 for second, 10 for third, and then this bonnet. But let's actually go ahead into the first round here, since this is more important than showing you to it. This is the first map here. It's a clown fiesta, and it's certainly not an easy map, because this cut here that you have to do by jumping over those things is not that easy. We see Rin, Aside, and also Dionysos surviving it, so we have a close fight here. We have a close fight between them, but Dionysos is currently leading. Aside going for a no side approach, it has a little bit more exit speed than Rin, as you can see. So um, <clears throat> it's still a battle for that second position, but also Dionysos not with the best amount of speed here. Aside is going for the attack, and Dionysos with that mistake getting overtaken by Aside and Rin here, and they claim first and second, and then Dionysos on P3, and then we have Marius getting fourth with three points, and Tommy on P5. So not a good. Um, way to start the final of course in last position but Tommy is certainly a player that is not to be underestimated and this map is open for a lot of mistakes I can tell you that so you might wonder yourself okay what is this format how are we gonna determine the winner is this only one round no as you can see we play four rounds on each map with one warm-up beforehand so you can see that down in the bottom left here and you collect points due to your respective position position you could see Aside got first, he got 10 points, Rin got second, 6 points, and so on. So you collect points, the better or the higher the rank of you, or the, the lower your rank, to say it like that. But it's a little of a paradox. So the better your position, the more points you will get, and the points will add up until you reach 130 points. Then you have to get one victory, if you have surpassed this 130 points barrier, to claim either first, second, third, or fourth position. Um since they go home with something, but also 5th position goes home with a bonnet, so that's how it goes. So Aside winning this round, even though making a mistake there in the ending, but still doesn't matter since he has made it. So Aside with a 53.13, not the fastest time though, but still is, yeah, enough to win this one here. Rin, 2nd, Marius on P3, nope, P4, Tommy overtakes him, and then we still have Dionysos who finishes, but in last. So not that close of a round here again, not that clo close of a round again, but Aside and Rin are actually capitalizing from that tremendously since they are getting first and second all the time. Marius with a good sliding line here, going for that no slide into a full steer. So Marius definitely with a good amount of speed. Let's take a look here who's making that one here. We can just insert some clown music in here because everyone will kind of fail. And that's the case. Everyone failed. <laughs> what is happening? Aside is actually in first with that by just turtling and saving it there. But yeah, you can see it's roughly five to six seconds faster going for that line. But now, I, oh my god, man, that's... Uh, what is happening? What is actually happening? So Rin, Rin will actually get second again. Then Aside is first, but I mean, there was not a deserved first position here. I mean, of course the time is not that bad. 
uh, good, I mean. <laughs> but 57 seconds for... We're in the final, guys. So great round here. 57 second winning time. So 8 seconds slower than the best, best time. So, um... <laughs> oh my god. Alright, but anyway. Whatever. Let's go to the next round and see it here. As you see, Mario is going for a white line, and you can see his car stabilizes way better here. Rin goes for the safe ray directly, but Marius has it. Marius has it really good. His car didn't, like, didn't steer or like didn't do an angle, uh, didn't have an angle. So that's really good for Marius 89, and this could actually be a very good time from him. So he's in first. Then we have S side and Dionysus are still at the so-called for me identity. S side is. Flipping, but still is able to stay alive. Good air brake there to uh, straighten out your car. Marius is on the way here to clock in a 48 second time. 14, okay, 49.19 it is, but still a great time here from Marius 89. Tommy in second, then there's Rin on P3, and then there Dionysos and s who both, of course, have made those mistakes currently on their way to the finish line. As Dionysos had to respawn, and s will overtake him. But yeah, I mean, yeah, aside with his first bad performance here in this uh, on this map, only claiming three points, Marius up to 20 points, so doubling his points. That's good. And also coming closer to Rin. So the next map is Baby Park. It's not so complicated. So you see. You go here. Like that. And you go like that. And then boom. For the second one, you approach it. From here. Go like that. Take the multi-lap. Take those two CPs. And go like that. You're a little bit confused because... You might think, okay, how is this possible? How can you make that? But you can actually link checkpoints together. So let's say this checkpoint is the same than a different or than another one on the map. This is possible. And that's a cool feature that I think is actually heavy, heavily underused in Trackmania. Because this feature is there for a long time already. I think for like one or two years. And it's definitely a good feature that uh, not a lot of people have actually used. And um, yeah, I will probably, if I make a cup again... I will also utilize this tool since it's just very, very good. But maybe I just didn't see it. But yeah, actually, cut Finn or Riot through that. But we can see a lot of people going for that in the warm-up. As I did it really well. But um, yeah, let's let's actually go ahead here and uh, see who's gonna who's gonna make it, who's claiming victory here or not. Not sure if a 107.3 is that good. I have no idea. But um, yeah, let's also take a look at the standings here. As we see s -side leading 33 points. Then Rin, Marius and Tommy and Dionysos are behind. So um, yeah, I mean 14 and 11 points for Tommy and Dionysos. Not too bad. But take into consideration <coughs> we had four rounds that have been played. And Dionysos only with 11 points. So yeah. He has to do some uh, sort of comeback. But Dion is also a very skilled player. He can also win it all here, I would say. I would really see him winning it all. But currently we have Rin and Tommy in the lead. Maris jumping to Narnia there, having a lot of speed. But by jumping that far up, he is not really having the upper hand compared to Rin and Tommy here. But hey, let's actually go ahead. And see um, what they're gonna do. Are right, they going for the risky finish? Marius is going for it. I can tell you that. Marius is going for it. Tommy and Rin. Rin also. Tommy is saving it. Rin is making it and gets himself a 107.51. That's a great time. Marius still getting third though, but a great time again. So. You can see the level here on this uh, grand final is tremendously. It's very, very great 
Rin, Tommy, then Marius, Asad, and Dionysos. But yeah, Rin is pressing B for boost here. I have to say that. And hello, Iridium. Iridium. I like to pronounce names bad today. How are you doing? Dude, I won three times today. Yavolo. <laughs> Gambled away everything yesterday. <laughs> so next round. Second round. Yeah. Andres. I know that name. Hello, man. So, okay. So, Marius with a mistake. Tommy also so far behind. Then we have Rin and Dionysos left here in this round. As we see, they approach the second lap. As you can see, that's the finish line. So, sort of. Or it is the finish line. And currently, Rin is attacking Aside with a good amount of speed here. As you can see, he comes a bit closer, but not that much closer to say, Yo, you're in a battle. Actually, you lost time. But not with that line. Let's see who is going for that risky finish. Who is going for that Dionysos with the risk. And he's making it very great approach here from him. Just stays ahead here by 0.2 of a second. So Dionysos will need the points for him. Up to 23 points with that. So you can see a very cozy and close final here thus far. And Dionysos with that will really claim a lot of points. I mean 23 points. He's almost or more than... Or almost doubling his points there. That is really cool to see. Almost doubling his points. And into the third round we go. Rin, Dionysos, Tommy, 1, 2 and 3. And we have Aside making a mistake, so he's a little bit further behind. Marius goes for the attack on the inside, but has no speed, but goes for a different line here in this sector again. You will see that just now. He has a little bit more speed here than the rest of the pack by not going for an early air break. So it's a smart line here from the Safe Meister. And currently it's not looking too bad for him. He's currently in the money, but of course the first position is really the, the position you want to opt for. That's really important. So Dionysos on P1, Marius gets attacked by Tommy and Aside. Uh, Rin, sorry, Aside is a little bit further behind. Rin with more speed. Who's gonna go for that risk? Dionysos is going. Everyone is going for it. Oh my God, Rin dead. Marius making it. Tommy overtaking Rin and Rin completely falling apart here in the ending. Aside dead. What is happening here in this ending? Oh my God. So both. Abort, aborted their mission and just saved it, but this ending is something else. This ending is something else. Which map is this? This is map number two. So, cozy points. However, it is Tommy falling a bit behind. Dionysos with a great comeback here, up to 33 points. Then we have Aside. Yeah, okay, still being ahead after his uh, good performance on that first map. So Aside, not doing too bad here on this one, but it could be better um, concerning how many points he has gotten himself on uh, that prior map. He was already at uh, 33 points here going into map number two. And now he only has claimed himself 11 points. But maybe he could almost double his points here by going for the first position. And currently it's looking very well or looking very good for him to make that one happen since it is uh, Rin, the only player who's ahead of him. Marius and Tommy are in the battle as well for P3. Aside not with the best line that Rin goes for so much speed there in this section. And Tommy is dead. So Tommy won't have a saying here. Marius goes for the freewheel skip. As you can see, he might have more speed than Aside here in this part. Yes, he has. And now the ending. Did, 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 did. No one is going for it. Man, weak. Man, 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 man. That's weak. No one going for the cuts. Come on, guys. No one going for the cuts. Rin, Marius, and Asad have saved it. Tommy and Dionysos are behind. But, uh... <laughs> Speed stuff. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, it is... 
cozy. It's cozy for the first position, one point tearing those players apart. 49 and 48 points. Then Maris, nine points behind Aside. So not too much. But yeah, Tommy. I'm a little bit worried about him here. Since uh, he really played well against Marius on that other match. Now we have the next no train map. We had already one map in the first uh, or in the semifinals. And I would actually expect Rin and Marius doing really well since they are fast learners. But I, I think also Aside, Dionysos, and uh, Tommy can do very well here. But you can see here it's multi lap by the looks of it. Or is it? Was it? I think it wasn't. No, it wasn't multi-lap. Okay, I was just mistaken there. It looked like a multi-lap, but it was no multi-lap. So that's the map here. As you can see, very simple map. Very, very simple. And let's take a look. So four rounds on this track. 30 seconds in length. And this is definitely a format that suits Marius very well. Going for a no slide here. You can definitely go for that. And there comes the ice sector. With some weird textures on there. Not sure what happened there. SI then first though, but the close round. SI with a mistake though, not um, judging the turn correctly here. As we see, Dionysos and Tommy also made a mistake. So the battle between Marius and Rin is on. And as I said, Marius and Rin are winning the round here. First and second. So nice prediction meister here. Lucker's Turbo. What a, what a, what a caster, man. He can predict, he can cast, and he can jinx people. That's my new slogan. So Rin wins it here and extends his lead. <laughs> and I can also do 250 push-ups in one hour. <laughs> oh man. Yo, and hello Burim, by the way. How are you doing? Hopefully you have a good one, man. Oh, Rin with a beautiful line here. Very, very good line from Rin. Tommy, Aside, and Marius, however, in the battle, but Marius not with the best amount of speed. Who's actually getting second? It's Tommy ahead of Aside, but Rin again with a very good round here. Very, very good round. So 69 points for Rin. That's nice. That's nice. 69 points. And yeah, I'm doing fantastic as well. Just my allergy is. Um, yeah, going a little bit away, so um, my Schleimhäute are still a little bit, um, yeah, how do you say that? Gereizt, you know? Not sure what the English word for that is. Sore, maybe. Maybe sore is the word. I don't know. Maybe that's the word for that. I don't know. Whatever. So, next round. Here, round number three on No Train Demi 1. Aside is leading and wins this one here. Rin in second, so a very good map for Rin. Not gonna lie here. And also for S side. So that that that's that's the issue with those maps. The maps are very short, and you really have to you know, like find the pace. You really have to find the pace because the rounds are going fast, fast, fast. You know, there's no break in between. The rounds are just coming up, coming up. And uh, yeah, I mean, Rin is suiting that one really well, but Dionysos and Tommy are struggling, as well as Marius falling 16 points behind S side here. Let's take a look onto Marius 89. Or oh, going for the free wheel since he didn't jump high enough. Tommy didn't catch it, and Tommy again is leading here. What means again? I mean, it's the first time he's leading in on this map, and he makes it this time. Yes, S side on P2. Marius gets sniped in the ending, and then Rin on P4 getting three points, and they only saw still able to finish since the finish time was 30 seconds, only getting two points. So Tommy will well need a 10 points here, coming closer to Marius and going away from that uh, last position. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Marius again. <laughs> That's something for Marius 89-4. Burim. 
Uh, nice. But yeah, that's the next map, and a map that was very good for Marius um, concerning the ending, because he was um, doing a lot of uh, actual... Uh, yeah, he got a lot of speed there. The ending can be hard, because you have to avoid the slow-mo block there. And uh, yeah. So, uh, definitely a good map for Marius. I haven't seen, I think, Dionysos yet in this competition. And... Oh, man. Let's go ahead here. Let's go ahead into this one. Yakuza. Map number four it is. And the points look like that. Rin is in first, ahead of Aside. And then there is Marius, Tommy, and Dionysos. Bear in mind, Aside was actually qualifying from the lower bracket. Was actually qualifying from the lower bracket. Or from the final, loser final, sort of. From the third position. And now he's actually doing very well. So Aside on P2. Certainly... I have, didn't expect that. But yeah, Rin and Dionysos with a very good start here. You can see the pace is insane from them. They are really accumulating a lot of speed here in this sector. Going for the most optimal racing lines. And now it really matters who steers the most. You really don't want to uh, steer too much on the grass freewheel. It is Dionysos with a little bit more speed, but it's still Rin. It's so close here between them. Rin with the trick here with the no jump, and Rin will take it. Great round, though. I have to say that really great round between them. Rin is in first, Dionysos in second. Then we have Asset on third, and Marius getting fourth with a 58.9. So that is a very great round. Tommy, the only player who has made a mistake. And with that, he finds himself on P5 and only going away with um, two points. So not the thing that he wanted to look for. But, yeah, Rin with that extending his lead. Alright, next, next round on this track on Yakuza. Point limit is still 130. So still a long way to go here, 42 points for Rin, but yeah, let's take a look here. Let's take a deep breath and a look onto the players here. Marius didn't really get the best line by the looks of it, but he might have more speed than Asad and Tommy, who will not be able to cross that speed, speed check. Okay, never mind. So both actually made it and also Rin and Dionysos again Marius with the white line here but everyone actually goes for that so again a very close round here between them Dionysos versus versus Rin there but also Marius with a great attack here on the sector oh man this is so close here in this ending Rin Dionysos Aside oh Marius who's taking the victory it is actually Aside almost sniping Rin there in the ending what a round Oh my god, Marius with a 59.30, not even being one second behind. Oh man, not even being one second behind the first position, getting last here. What a crazy one. That was the greatest one we've seen thus far. And let's go ahead here. Let's go ahead into the next one. The, now the match is spiced up. The match is spiced up and Marius is ready for it. Marius is ready. Of course, he was risking it there. He was definitely... Aware that he has to risk it there, but great speed there, nice risk there for Marius 89. That was not Marius 5 save, that was Marius 5 risk. And we've seen a lot of bongs, um, unlike in the uh, prior round. I mean, Rin, Marius, the only player left to be alive on this track. Then Tommy, Asad, and Dionysos are so far behind. And I mean, Rin, he's just walking away. He is at 98 points, and this is a great performance here from TM Rin. A well-known player and he has also improved rapidly in uh, the prior year so great performance here from Rin taking this one home only one more jump and yes he's making it with a 57.84 great time yet again and Marius in second then we have Tommy and Aside on p3 and 4 and then the last player who's able to finish is Dionysos sliding into the finish so yeah 108 points for Rin 
Uh, but the gaps are pretty, pretty huge at this point. The gaps are pretty huge. 65. Okay, maybe the battle for third is not that uh, decided already. Because 65, 59, 58. But second and first are so far ahead. 23 points for Rin and then 20 points for Aside. Who's not having the best start here. He's, he's not having the best start. He currently finds himself on last position. Marius, however, not with the best line by the looks of it. But he gets a lot of exit speed um, compared towards Aside. So he is uh, currently... Finding himself on 5th position still, since Marius is not slowing down. Rin, however, overtaken Tommy, who made a mistake. And also Marius capitalizes from that. Who's getting first? That was it Dionysos or Rin. Dionysos is looking very good. Almost touches the um, slow-mo ring there. Rin comes closer by getting the zoop, but it's not enough to overtake him here. So Dionysos wins a round well needed for him. And with that, he can walk away from that last position yet again so rin up to 114 points and yeah definitely a great map here great rounds on this track and with that we're gonna go into the next round or to the next map my god <laughs> So Montclair, and this map has a cut. This map has a cut, and it's not that easy, since you have to find the balance between getting a white or taking a white line and going for the fastest racing line. You can see, Aside went for a very, very tight line there compared to Dionysus and Tommy, and with that, Aside has almost clipped or has actually clipped the free wheel turbine there. And with that, you can actually, well, get a penalty, you know? You get, can get a penalty and slow down or not even make that jump at first place. And um, it is Downis also did that one really well. 49 is a very good time here. And it's an intentional cut. Yeah, this cut is hard because you really have to opt or you really have to choose that line, you know? You have to go for that. And also the, the sausage, sausage road piece beforehand, we have to accumulate a lot of speed. So that's the map, really cool map, one of my favorite maps. In general, the map pool of this competition is very good. So maps, of course, being a little bit of a meme with that first map, with the um, just deciding part. But also this map here, it comes with gear management at the start, taking the direct line, then like a quarter pipe or a half pipe in this case, whatever. And then this drift, which also feels so good if you get it correctly. And then, of course, the cut. That is, um, yeah, not that hard to do, but Rin certainly has not a lot of speed here to make it. But still, you can see it. He went for not that of a diagonal jump, and that's why Rin made it. And uh, that was a definitely a risky line. And with that, Rin is actually in first because Dionysos has made a mistake. So Rin is really capitalizing from those mistakes. Marcus is getting second. Then we have Aside on third, and we have Dionysos in fourth after that mistake. So I'm not sure what happened to him there, but this looked like to be a free round for him but yeah Rin with that at 124 points so one second place and he is in finalist and no one is there to deny him I mean he is more than 30 points ahead this is looking very good but it's also looking very good for Aside here who's at 91 points so Rin let's take a look onto Rin here because he had a really interesting cut line I thought he didn't have sufficient speed, but um, Rin's line actually worked out pretty well. Okay, actually Rin is lagging, so let's go with Mario, Dionysos, and Aside here in the top three. Aside, great line here, but touches the turbine. That's what I was talking about. Mario and Tommy doing it very well. Dionysos is leading though, not making a mistake, and this looks like to be this looks to be a sick time, but Dionysos really threw away. Uh, 10 points in that prior round, a 49.06 by Dionysos. Tommy with a 0.77, 0.7 behind here on the second position. 
So great time here, not gonna lie. Great time. Great, great time. All right, so next round. As I go, you, you can either go for the gear hold or for, for the um, gear management on the inside or on the outside. So you can see as I take, taking a different line, it's of course more direct, but you have less speed after that. But the distance traveled is less or will reduce with that line. But it doesn't really matter since you have to slow down on that left hander, on that third left hander anyway. And um, yeah, Dionysus is an S-side currently leading the round here. Dionysus again with a very good apex here in this section. Accumulates so much speed there. Look at that, S-side has to respawn. And S-side with that will get Rin the finest mode. But Rin would have gotten it anyway since he was on P4 before that. But Dionysus again with a very good time. Tommy on P2. And then we have Rin on third. Maris on fourth. And S-side finishes. But only getting himself one Solace of two points. So Rin and finalist, good luck to him, and he could make it happen here. So first finalist attempt here for Rin, for Rin TM or TM Rin. And we're gonna spectate him for this round. He was very strong on this map, I have to say that. And Rin could well make it happen here. 70 Euro is on the line, 20 for second and 10 for third position. And then we have two bonnets that go home to P4 and 5. Rin, however, finds himself on the last position thus far. He has nothing to do, so he's in finalist mode and he is so far ahead points wise. Not in this round, but maybe he can make it happen in this round. Aside, Dionysos, Marius all making it. Dionysos is really strong on this map and it seems that he has arrived in this, sem in this grand final here. He has really arrived and Dionysos and Aside will deny them. Rin will snipe one place there in the ending. But Dionysos again with a mid to low 49 time in first position. So he is pushing it. He's up to 100 points. 101 points and second position. So Dionysos really wants to take home um, this prize money. So great round. Not gonna lie. A lot of successive or successful cuts there. <laughs> And Marius with that drops down to P4, so Marius cannot match the pace here. <laughs> uh. So Speedself also made his way up into the grand final here. <laughs> well, that's an obvious one though. That's an obvious one. And hello, Phil. Hello, hello. So, this is the next map. And what is really important here is to... Yeah. Maintain and get as much speed as possible from the sectors. Since your car is in a free wheel. A lot of times, as you can see here. The ending, really important. Speedstep went for this line here to, to keep on track here. Then you can go for the zoop in the ending, or not. So, it's, it's one of the maps that also would suit me. Pretty well, I would say. Why didn't I actually play this competition? Why didn't I play that? <laughs> I could have won. <laughs> Just kidding. But maybe um, next time, instead of casting, I could play. But I don't have that much time off to practice, you know? And if I want to practice a competition, I want to like perform on, on the highest level. But whatever. We're going to start now here with this map. It's Rin still in finalist. It's Rin who's still in finalist. And... Um, Let's take a look. Second finest attempt for him. 70 euro on the line for first position. 20 for second and then 10 for third. So no prize money for fourth and fifth. But a beautiful bonnet that is sponsored from one of the organizers from Sundance Spas. And it is Ren who is not leading at the moment. It's Dionysos. Dionysos really has arrived in this match. I'm not sure what this guy is doing. But he's just winning every round. He's just rolling over them. He's just rolling over them. And with that, he can actually make it happen. Of course, he cannot rely from a mistake if Rin is behind him. But Rin makes that mistake just in the same breath when I said that. So Tommy and Dionysos 
Are you leading? Actually, has S side more speed than Onisos? No, that's not the case. So the Onisos wins that round. And uh, he is making it. So 58.06. Great winning time. And the Onisos denies Rin yet again. And of course, now pressure is coming in here. Pressure is kicking in for Rin. But also for the other people. But it seems that the Onisos is like just in the zone. And uh, he can just deny them the victory and claim himself the first positions. So two first places in a row would be enough for Dionysos to make the comeback. To make the comeback here. Wait, that's WR? A top two world. Oh my, that's sick. Okay, so Marius also going for the risky line. So it's not Marius 5 safe. It's Marius 5 risk. And also Rin did it really well. Dionysos lost a lot of speed. And now there is Marius who has to deny Rin the victory. But Rin is so far away here. Now we need to see some crazy shenanigans. Else it is Rin claiming the victory here. And taking home 70 euro. Let's take a look onto Dionysos and Marius. Who really need a lot of speed there in the ending. They need to zoom it. Are they going for it? Marius is going for it. Does he have sufficient speed? It doesn't look like that but the only sauce is he sniping the victory from Rin is it enough no it's not enough and Rin will take it here in his third finest attempt Rin will win it here 70 year into his pocket but a great ending here from the only sauce coming so much closer towards Rin but it's not enough Rin wins it here the Bucks Cup 2 goes home to Rin it goes to Rin whatever so GG's here 70 euro definitely something and now 20 and 10 so that's a drastic m cut of money i have to say that and uh, yeah still no one finalist point limit is 130 points and we see marius currently sitting at 90 points so he is 18 points away from the money so currently he's the bubble boy which is uh, of course not the spot you want to be in but it's inevitable that there will be, or that there is one, so A. As I then Tommy with a close fight though for first position, as Tommy has a lot of speed there, but as I also with a good line here. Okay, going for the zoop. Is as I making it or not? No, didn't look that good here. So Tommy will take it. Also Dionysos will overtake as I here with a crazy ending. I have to say that it's a great ending there, but also Tommy getting himself some points. He was in last, or he, I mean, he still kind of is together with Marius. But Marius really lost the pace here throughout the whole match. He was in second, then he dropped down to third, now, now from fourth to fifth. So Marius cannot suit the pace here from the players. The only source really got faster throughout this whole match. And now he is up to second position, 123 points for him. So, um, yeah, definitely a factor that comes into the mind for me. Marius is a very safe player, a very good player. He can play very consistent. But if he doesn't find the rhythm in a in a match or on a map, he will get like he won't play good. And currently it's not looking good for Marius that he can um, match the pace yet again on this round. So Marius will drop further and further behind. Still doesn't matter if you get fourth or fifth, but also for your mentality, it's important to know. Okay, yo, I could have had a chance or not. But yeah, Marius here also not with a good line. Dionysos definitely has more speed than Tommy here in the ending. So he will get himself that first position. And with that, not the face lap. So he will um, get himself that 10-pointer. Uh, and with that, the finest mode. <laughs> Do you cast the whole day? Um, yes, I'm going to cast the Trackmania Formula League at 16. So I'm going to take a break and prepare the cast. And then there's also the Trackmania Award Show at uh, 18. That we're gonna present from Tyrkmania News. So that's my those are my casts today. So yeah, I'm casting the whole day. Kind of. <laughs> Let's go Riolu. Uh, it's at 18 CT. So like the the uh, like TMGL thingy. Well, what does that mean? TMGL thingy. Oh what do you mean Trackmania Awards? So TMGL show. Did I say Trackmania Awards? I don't know. <laughs> I'm casting for the cup here. The organizers asked me to cast this competition. 
So no push-ups today. No push-ups will be on Tuesday again. 250 I am aiming for. Alright, but the next map here is Saucis Elevation. And it could well be the last map for Dionysos and maybe even for Aside or Tommy if he wins uh, four rounds in a row. But uh, after that we will certainly have one more map. So, this map, the ending was not well executed or executed well from Marius since he was oversteering there. Hopefully, he's doing it better now. So, let's go ahead. Dionysus with a 103.44 in the warm up. Okay. Okay. All right, Dionysus. All right. Great time. <laughs> Great time, Dionysus here. Okay. Uh huh. Wait. Well, that's what I would call a warm-up Andy. Wie ein Bilderbuch steht. Warm-up Andy. Man. <laughs> oh man, that's a warm-up Andy and a half. So he is completely dead. But the Cassis curse is kicking in yet again, as always. And um, yeah. <laughs> that is not good. That is not good, guys. So he is dead. And, um, yeah, actually a close round here between Aside, Tommy, and Marius. But bear in mind, no one is finest yet. Aside is at 116 points. So he can, yeah, with the first position, it would really be good for him. Okay, actually, Dionysos catching up. So nice uh, call here from Matat. Matt TM2. Hello, hello. Oh, no. We've seen a fatality here. Aside being dead. Tommy and Ma Marius are in first and second. Yeah, 104.4. Those are definitely winning times. And you could have seen Dionysos did a 103 beforehand. Wow. <laughs> what is that line though? And what is happening? Just go for the ride, Dionysos. He doesn't have to risk that. Hinting for Bonnet. <laughs> oh, that would be cool. So for the people who don't know it, um, P1, 2 and 3 go home with prize money. And then P4 and 5 win a Bonnet. So like a... I can show that to you. So this is the bonnets that you win. And I actually would take that bonnet over 10 euro somehow. It's cool. Look at this, man. This is so cool, man. I would take that. For 10 euro. Dude, I would take that. Really. I will take that. Man, 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 man. So. <laughs> Dionysos and Marius are betting it out for first. Dionysos takes it. And with that, Dionysos actually wins 20 euro here. Okay, I thought actually... Okay, I was really distracting you guys from that victory road here from Dionysos. But Dionysos actually takes it. So, nice. Nice casting here. In the right moment, I swapped to the cast uh, into the uh, bonnet. And hello, Lars. <laughs> I don't know, bourbon, bourbon kid. So, yeah, that's... that's um, yeah, that's not good. That's not good here. So Aside and Tommy are is still ahead of Marius. But Marius at 108 points. So you could will make it happen. Could will make it happen here. So Marius with good amount of speed. Let's take a look here. Aside is currently chasing Marius down here. But it's still very close here between them. It's only 13,000 of a second. Look at that. He is really close. But Marius with a way better line than um, Asite here in this section. But Asite with a better approach there. But has made a mistake. So he's dead. And Marius will take it here. Marius will take the victory. So Marius is good on this one. And Marius up to 118 points. Asite with the face slap. Tommy up to 118 points as well. 
so it's now tied between 4th and 5th, and s is still not finest. Yeah, Rin looked really trained indeed. He was very strong. He was very strong. Indeed. But still a great final, I have to say. It's cool to see that s side, um, who actually come as a third-seeded player, is actually having a chance. And both of the players coming from semi-final one, um, Marius and also t um, Tommy, actually are struggling quite a lot. And Marius, oh, that is a very costly mistake here. So Tommy and s side are left alone here. And bear in mind, s side just has to finish. So it doesn't really matter if he gets himself um, first, second or third. But of course, he can deny points to Tommy, who could um, well use this uh, uh, position here to his advantage to go up to 128 points. So not finest yet, but a finish after that would secure him finalist eventually. Okay, Tommy with a nose slide, s side with a very good line there. Look at that, s side is pressing B for boost in this section and he will deny him. He will deny him with a great ending, I have to say that. So great ending from s side and uh, yeah, with that, he denies points to Tommy and is now up to finalist mode as well. Marius also finishes. And this will be... This will go to the next round, to the next map here, to the last map, to the decider. And the map is called Hamilton. Hamilton is the last map. So this map we haven't seen in uh, the semi-final thus far, we haven't seen today, let's say like that. And uh, it is definitely a map that is not that easy, um, since uh, you have a lot of transitions that have to be cleared, a lot of speed checks. And uh, then of course this jump that really is decisive, but it's only decisive because of the ice afterwards. You really want to exit as right as possible there and not touching the wall like Marius did. So it's, it's just really important to get that one done um, since you don't want to land and then you, you want, we want to auto slide with an ice slide after that kind of or just tap the brake and let the uh, rest do the thing. So it's it's like it's, it's weird to really um, explain that you're just gonna see it but of course it is as side on that third position still being in finalist and then Tommy and Marius are one victory away so this will certainly be the last map. We have four more rounds, let's go. All right, so let's take a look here onto this round. Tommy going for a very outside approach, so you will accumulate more speed by the looks of it, but not that much to overtake s -Side or Marius. But still a very great jump here from Tommy. Bear in mind, it is s side who is in finalist, and this is the last chance here to go home with money, else you will gain that bonnet. But, uh, yeah, it's still Tommy versus s side and s side is doing a very good slide. Tommy with more speed, though, so Tommy will be in third position, but also Marius is there. Can they deny s side the victory? Gonna see a triple final situation if this is the case. If Marius gets first and Marius almost sniped it there. 17 thousandths of a second between Marius and Tommy. But it's not enough for Marius to claim final status here just yet. But that was very close here indeed. So Tommy and s side up to finest. Marius up here with 128 points. Not being finest just yet. He needed first position there. And that wasn't quite sufficient for him. Again, with a very aggressive inside line, not accumulating a lot of speed there. As you can see, Marius currently behind S side for that first place battle. Marius has nothing to lose here, but it is S side currently leading the round. S side leading here with a huge margin here of already 0.5 of a second. And then we have Tommy 
who has made a mistake. So it's all in Mario's hands here to deny Asside. He comes a bit closer though, but it's not enough here. Asside will most likely take it if he survives the ending 10 year into the pocket here from him. Coming from the sort of loser final, from the semi-final, Asside is taking it. So semi-final one has been defeated. Rin, Dionysos and Asside both were coming, or all of the three were coming from semi-final two. And they're gonna take the money. So GG's to them. And then we have Tommy and Marius who still fight it out now for P4. So bonnet time, both go home with a bonnet. So uh, it doesn't really matter. So both get a solace, a solace present, a bonnet. I would love to have that bonnet. <laughs> it's, it look, it's looking cool, I like the color of it. So bonnet time, who's gonna take fourth or fifth? It's only for the statistics here that you can say, okay, I got fourth in box cup or fifth. You know, it's always say, it's always better to say, yo, I defeated one player then not to do that. But Marius with a very good line there. Very, very nice time or very nice approach here from Marius. But also Tommy doesn't want to say no here for that um, bonnet or for that battle for fourth, but gets the no slide. Oh no, that is not good. And it is Marius taking fourth position here. So that is the Bucks Cup, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Great competition. Thanks to the organizers. Nice maps and um, very smoothly. No, fourth and fifth. Um, you can see it here. The fourth and fifth will will won this beautiful bonnet. Okay, will won. Okay. So yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I have to say that.